Pardon. Hello and welcome to CXC Academy live stream. My name is Eliška Albrixen and we're here in the Center of Excellence in Madison, Wisconsin. Today we will talk about VO2 max testing. We talked about testing a little bit in our previous videos, but today we really want to focus on VO2 max testing. So people who already scheduled to get tested with us or are thinking about it, just kind of know what's, what's going on and don't have any fears. All right, so what is VO2 max testing? One more time. It is uh, the test of your maximal functional capacity of your lungs. If you just exhale and inhale, that's kind of passive capacity. But while you exercise and exhaling and inhaling, that is the functional capacity. Uh, when you get tested, what we measure is your adaptation to exercise stress, which can show how much you're improving. And then also the results can show you how you should work out in your exercise zones by heart rate. Heart rate is very closely correlated to um, your lung capacity, your volume of your lungs. All right, so that's what VO2 max test is. Um, let's look at the test day. So on a test day, you wake up, you go and eat your, you can say, um, race breakfast, because you're going to work as hard as you can today. So don't come starving. You would be really dizzy, not good. And don't forget to drink liquids as well. Then you come to us. Oh, wait, uh, wait back. Uh, before you come to us, pack your backpack. Don't forget what you need. If you're doing your test on a running treadmill, grab your running shoes. If you're doing it on our ski treadmill, bring your ski boots. You don't need anything extra. If you're doing it on a bike, you will need your bike, your road bike. All right. So then you come to us and we'll set you up with everything. Let's talk about all the setup. So as you saw, this is the oxygen mask. We, we improved the design a little bit, so it's easy to hold it in your mouth. Let's look at it closely. So here is the mouthpiece that you uh, hold with your teeth. And basically this mask you be, used to be used to collect the oxygen and um, CO2 as well, but it used to have leaks a lot. So this mouthpiece goes all the way into your mouth and this mask is holding it on your mouth so you don't have to clench really hard. And then these guys get attached to a headpiece that we have over here that you simply put on top of your head and these guys attach to the mask. So then it holds nicely in a place. And you don't have to just hold it with your mouth. And then um, let's see. It has two valves inside here that one moves air in and one moves air out only. And that's how the machine works. All right, let's look at the valves as they're moving. So if I put in my mouth, you can see me breathing through it. The valve will be moving. All right, that's how it works. And then this is our friend, Cardio Coach. And the mask gets connected through this tubing nicely over here. And then as you're getting tested, all the values go straight into our computer. All right. So that is the setup of what you're going to have. This on your head, this in your mouth, this little guy on your nose. So you really get the breathing only through your mouth into the machine. So we don't have any leaks, any errors. OK. And then we also put a heart rate strap on you so we can measure your heart rate and correlate it. It's a Bluetooth heart rate monitor. So we, we can measure the heart rate really well without any errors again. OK. So that is, that is the setup. Then um, the test itself, it has a protocol. Basically, if you're on a treadmill running, 
we're going to start you with some speed that's comfortable to your kind of jogging tempo. And then we're going to speed you up every minute until your heart rate gets 250 beats per minute. And then from there, we're going to go up. We're going to increase the grade every minute by 1%. We're going to do a similar thing if you're getting tested on skis. We're going to start in 5 miles per hour or 6 miles per hour, depending on your, basically, how, how fast you are. So if you feel okay at 5 miles, that's good. You don't have to push it to 6. It's going to get harder anyway. And then every minute, we're going to go up. The, uh, the roll ski treadmill can go much higher than the uh, running treadmill, so then we don't have to speed you up anymore. We just go, go up. And of course, we think about safety. So for roll skiing, you're going to have the belt around your waist. For running, you're going to have the clip on you. So when, when you just can't go anymore, then it stops or you just jump off with the treadmill. We stop it for you. If you're doing it on a bike, the, um, uh, the protocol is a little bit different. We're going to push you to stay in a certain wattage that we're going to be increasing as well. All right, so that, that is the test protocol. Uh, the length of the test is really dependent on your, um, on your performance. So if you're doing it running, skiing, or on a bike, you can start, you know, really easy and go super hard up um, in, let's say, seven, eight, ten minutes. Or you can also do the test for 20 minutes if you're a really elite athlete.